More than 20 shots were fired at a Madison apartment complex Wednesday, and one man died. And tonight, neighbors tell off Sharon Dankwa some bullets even ricocheted off homes coming inches away from people inside. It happened right here. A woman says she looked out of her window and found a body on the ground. Now, people living in these units described to me what they saw and what they heard moments before that body was found. I, I was sort of like scared and confused on what was going on. Moesha says she woke up to the sound of gunshots. A lot of gunshots. All I really hear, yeah, constantly. Then it just stopped. Yeah. A mother and son who were scared and asked us not to show their face say they didn't just hear the gunshots, they saw them. Um, I saw like gunfire and like flashing lights everywhere. He says it looked like two people were shooting at each other. I heard one gun sounded, and after that, I, I um. Heard a lot of them. Mm, okay. It's as like people shooting back and forth. Yeah, it's like it was coming from this way, and then one, then I heard some coming from that way. Mm. We now know, thanks to police, that 25 year old Adrian Mosley shot and killed 21 year old Jeffrey Hardney Jr. Police say at first Mosley denied it, but then after they found guns in his apartment, he admitted to the shooting, but told police it was out of self defense. He said he saw Hardney Jr. peeping into apartment windows, and Hardney Jr. shot at him first. Moesha says now all she can do is wait for answers. Well, I hope that they solve this situation. Detectives are now working to find out if Mosley's self-defense claim is true. In Madison, Sharon Dankwa, WSMV 4.